Hi to all, uh, let us discuss the concept of uh, Maps version 2 for Android. That means uh, Google Maps for Android API v2. So coming to here, I'm going to show you how to display the map in the device. That is the version 2, the procedure and how to get the map key and everything we will just uh, have a look here. So first of all, uh, we need to create a project. So I'm going to create the project and giving the application name um, my maps v2 android and after that package name i am providing com dot rom dot my maps v2 android and uh, going to create a project finish so after creating application uh, the next thing we need to download the google play services package from the sdk manager so i'm going to run that sdk manager so definitely we should have the internet connection then only it's going to show you the available available packages uh, in SDK Manager. So, uh, if, you if you see here uh, under extras, we have a package Google Play Services. You will see Google Play Services installed. Right, Google Play Services update is available. So just uh, I'm going to update it. So it's going to download the Google Play services. So uh, in your system, it is uh, showing that not installed. Just install this Google Play services. Without installing this Google Play services, uh, we, are, we, we cannot uh, display the maps version 2. So you need to remember that one. So uh, before starting the project, that means before uh, starting development of your maps project, compulsory we need to download this google play services uh, that means a package right once it is installed i'm going to close and the next step what we need to do is right click on the package explorer and choose import option and normally we are going to import the projects using this existing projects into workspace from the gender folder now we need to change that one to the android under Android, we need to choose existing Android code into workspace. Then it's going to ask the root directory. That means where that uh, Google Play services uh, project is available. That means after downloading this Google Play services SDK, in that we are going to find one uh, Google Play services library project. That library project we need to import to this uh, Eclipse. So that is the procedure here we are doing now. So we need to browse that Google Play Services library project. So browse. First of all, we need to check where is our, uh, that means in your system, you know, where is your uh, AAT bundle. So just you need to locate to your AAT bundle. So under documents, I'm having the AAT bundle. You'll see Android Softs. Under that, I have the AAT bundle folder. So in your system, where you have stored that AAT bundle, just uh, browse that AAT bundle. Under that AAT bundle, we know that we have two folders. One is Eclipse folder. Another one is SDK folder. I'm going to choose the SDK folder. Under SDK, you will see extras folder. Why? Because uh, from extras only we downloaded the Google Play services. Extras, you will see the Google folder. Under that one, you will see Google Play services. Now we need to choose the library project. You will see Google Play, say, Google Play services library project. So you will get this uh, Google folder once you downloaded the google play services sdk or otherwise you won't get this google folder remember so i'm going to select this library project and uh, click on open you'll see it's going to show you the google play say google play services library project i'm going to click on finish so see it was imported to the eclipse google play services library project now that was okay the next step is you need to right click on our application that means we created one application for the google play uh, google play uh, 
this maps v2 so right click on that application and choose properties and after that uh, click on android so after click on android you will see here library so we need to add the library google play services library to our project then only we can write the programming recording maps v2 so this we are going to click on add automatically it's going to show you the google play services library project okay see after importing this google play services library project then only we are able to add the library to our project so just uh, apply okay next the next step is uh, we need to generate the uh, maps key that means what now we need to generate the key for this maps v2 then only we can display the maps in the device so i'm going to the internet and go to the google and type google api console so it's going to open this api console just to open the dashboard so already i logged in my google account if you are not logged in just is going to ask you your gmail username and password so first time it's going to show you like this this is the dashboard here so under left side navigation bar we need to choose api uh, services services in the sense you see this is all the google services but here which service you want to use that one we need to activate so coming to here you see we need to activate google maps and api v2 first time it's going to show you the off then we need to activate changing that one from off to on so see google maps and api v2 change to the on after uh, activating that one now same left side navigation bar we need to choose api access once i choose the api access you will see uh, this page will come so here you need to choose create new android key option so after choosing that one clearly it's going to ask you the SHA one certificate fingerprint key and your application package name separated with the semicolon so where we can see that uh, SHA one fingerprint key it is very simple go to the window sorry in the windows operating system go to window and choose here preferences option but in the mac we need to go to the AAT and click on preferences under preferences just click on android and under android you will see one more option build after choosing the build here it's going to show you the SHA1 fingerprint key so you want to get this SHA1 fingerprint key in uh, in eclipse only we need to use the latest AAT, latest AAT bundle that means what now 22.0.5 uh, uh, that the latest version we need to use which is in, which includes the 4.3 version so SHA1 I am going to select fingerprint key copy and we need to go to the internet there is a google api console uh, dashboard paste it and semicolon and uh, we need to go to our application and our application package name our application package name is maps v 2 android copy and i'm going to paste it here once completed then i'm going to click on create button after click on the create button you will see this is the api key so no problem if you have multiple api keys it's very simple see this is the sha1 fingerprint key what we have given and after that you will see com.rom.maps v2 android okay so this is our package name so this is the key we need to use okay fine we generated the api key next step is we need to write the programming in the uh, project to display the map it's very simple you have uh, my blog so go to rams uh, Android. So it's going to show you my blog. Click on this RAM standard for all. And you see, uh, right side. Uh, so this is my blog for the learners and developers. You see, um, right here, uh, Android tutorials and uh, some videos and so many posts are available here. So just to click on this Google Maps Android API video. So here, uh, so uh, you can see some theory part. What we are doing, just I kept everything here with the help of diagrams. So if you scroll down, um, everything. See, uh, suppose uh, you are not getting this SHA1 key in your Eclipse. So you need to do this one or procedure two. Here manually you are going to generate the SHA1 key. 
use in command prompt so just use this one okay so i kept for uh, windows operating system and this is for mac operating system so i'll scroll down you will see the code what we need to keep in the manifest file and the xml file so coming to the see android android manifest.xml you will see so i kept this programming in the yellow color take this one copy and uh, paste in eclipse so here i am going to paste it you will see here uh, clearly i mentioned here right uh, here in this uh, again green color you need to provide your application package name and here also you need to take care of the, those two things so clearly i'm going to take my package name and uh, you'll see your application package name so i'm going to change this one good next here also your application package name once it was changed save it next again here we have one more metadata tag so that metadata tag we need to uh, include under application tag and in this metadata tag only we are going to include our api key so i'm going to include that one under application tag and here we need to see paste your api key here so i'm going to take the api key so back to the google apis console here already we generated the api key just take that one so here uh, here I'm going to give the my API key. Okay, save it. The next thing is we need to go to the XML file. So coming to here, you see activity underscore main dot XML. So I'm going to change the attorney cost that layout to the linear layout. So you can keep that one in the later layout also, no problem. You can use any type of layout. So I felt comfortable with the linear layout, that's why I changed the linear layout and I'm going to keep the fragment tag. So uh, so you can think like this um, if you want to use the relative layout no problem just to keep the relative layout and only take this part that is a fragment tag only take the fragment tag and after that uh, in the root tag include this xml ns map okay right after including no need to write any java code just is going to display the map see it came save it so here here you will see some kind of a java code this is after taking the map tag that is what a map here we are going to display with the help of fragments concept after uh, displaying the map if you want to do any operations on the map then first we need to access that map in the java code for that purpose only we are going to use the google map class and we are going to call that when i'm using this uh, uh, fragment manager and we are going to call that id and after that you are going to uh, write an operations on the map using this google map object map okay right. so no need to call this uh, maps just if you want to display the map the xml programming is enough here calling them by fragment tag so here i'm saving everything and i'm going to run the project click run as android application So I'm running this one in my mobile, okay. Uh, and after that, if you want to display your location in the map, just you can go to my blog again. You'll see right side you have one more post here. It's all written article. You, you go through it, just you will find very clearly how to display the map. You see here, um, Google Maps Android API V2 showing current location with marker. Uh, with marker or your with your own marker also you will get the concept here it's, that also you can refer so it is asking uh, why because i connected my device so i'm going to run in my mobile so i'm going to show you that output clearly go to dmas and i'm going to select the device Why? Why? Because it's going to take a few seconds. Right. Here we see the map. See, this is the project will what we created. My maps V2 Android. So I'm going to run in the real time device. So this is the map here. Okay. So like that we can work with the Google Maps. 
exactly what i have shown to you if you do that procedure you are not going to get any single error exactly perfectly you are going to display the maps v2 and one more thing uh, here recently uh, right the latest uh, version is 4.3 so in the latest version 4.3 we have a google api is 4.3 also google api is clearly see google api is version so clearly uh, if you want to run this maps output why because i'm going to show you i have shown you in my device sir i want to show these maps in the v2 why because till now we cannot show the maps in the emulator so why because in the emulator we are not having google play services apk that's why we need to show that one in the mobile only and that mobile also google play services uh, sdk apk should be installed that's why so clearly we are going to check these applications with the help of uh, device only and after that uh, version v1 we should not use now onwards uh, that means that no, 2013 march onwards uh, maps v1 strictly restricted that means not deprecated we should not use that one why because we cannot generate the api key also so the new developers and existing developers should use the maps v2 only and what are the applications already developed in the maps v1 they are going to continue no problem but the new applications we want to develop using maps definitely we need to use the maps version v2 and recently um, Android developers released the note that uh, if you are creating the emulator using these Google APIs uh, SDK then you can run the maps in the emulator but already I created the uh, emulator in the Google APIs but I was uh, unable to run uh, it's not going to run that one so at least you can check that one if it is running okay or otherwise just you can check with your device maybe after a few days uh, then we can success to run that application in the device why because perfectly now we are unable to run even though they are giving the note thank you we will meet in the next uh, tutorial uh, okay uh, you have any uh, queries regarding this video just to drop your feedback in my blog so you can drop my you can drop your feedback in your, uh, in my blog in this post just you can comment it so here you can give your valuable comment so i'm going to check it out whether uh, is there any mistakes thank you thank you very much